My name is Nigel Owens and I'm an international rugby referee, allegedly. <laughs> Penalty is awarded when a team has offended in, in a game, and that would be um, a more serious offence than a knock-on, a forward pass, or an accidental upside. A deliberate infringement will result in a team being awarded a penalty, so the penalty will go against the team that has offended. Players must be on their feet in the ruck and can only use their feet to ruck the ball back. So any player that uses his hands in the ruck after the ruck is formed will be penalised. When you enter a tackle, a uh, ruck or maul, you must enter from behind the highmost foot of your own players in that phase of play. Uh, and if you enter in front of the highmost foot, then that's regarded as a side entry and will be penalised. Offsides, there are different offsides lies in the game. You have an offside at the ruck and the maul, which are the hindmost feet, and that line runs right across the field. At scrums and lineouts, the offside line for people not in the lineout are 10 metres back from the lineout and from the scrums it's five metres back from the number eight feet. If anybody encroaches those offside lines, then they get penalised. In rugby, the game is played on your feet. If you go off your feet deliberately in the contact area, for example, then you're known to be going off your feet and you get penalised. In the tackle area, once you're tackled, the tackler and the ball carrier the ball carrier must place the ball and make an attempt to roll away and the tackler must release the ball carrier and then roll away from that area if possible. When you're tackled and you go to ground, you must do three or four things with the ball. You can either release the ball immediately, you can place it in any direction or you can pass it off the floor or roll it back to your opponents. In a scrum, uh, the front row must drive straight and drive square, and they must not drive lower than the hips or drive the scrum up. So if you pull the scrum down, uh, you get penalised. When we go to the TMO, which is quite often these days, it would be a, a TV signal. And as all TVs are still square at the moment, the signal is square. In the line-out, the ball must be thrown uh, down the middle of the line-out, which we call straight. Uh, if it's not straight or it's thrown down to one side more than the other and an unfair contest, then it's not straight. In the tackle now, you often see two, two people tackle the ball carrier. The player who remains on his feet, once the ball carrier has gone to ground, the player remains on his feet and in contact with him, must release him before he can regather the ball. If he doesn't, then we call that assist tackler not releasing, and that is a penalty offence. In rugby, you must make an effort to tackle your opponent uh, below the line of the shoulder and below the neck. Um, if you don't, then it's a high tackle. Head check is uh, if a referee suspects a player has been um, concussed in the game and would like him to get checked, then he calls a medic by making uh, the head check signal. If you uh, have an open wound and you're bleeding, then you must leave the field for that blood wound to be stopped. Uh, and that is 15 minutes uh, and the referee will signal if it's a blood wound because the blood wound player can be replaced temporarily for that 15 minutes while he's being treated for the, for the blood. A free kick is awarded for an infringement that is deemed not to be as deliberate uh, as, as a penalty offence uh, and that would be for example, um, although a lot of people would say it's deliberate, uh, if the scrum half feeds the ball in the scrum not putting it in straight, that's, that's a free kick. Hooker having his foot up before the ball comes in uh, is a free kick. The ball must travel at least five metres and straight in the line-out. If it doesn't travel five metres, then that's a free kick as well. And also a referee will give a free kick when a player calls a mark. You can only call your mark from directly from a kick in your own 22. Neck roll and neck grab is something quite new which has been creeping into the game. It's dangerous play where players grab players by the neck in the malls or in the contact area to take them out or they grab them around the neck to twist them out of the contact area, which shouldn't be happening because it's very dangerous play. So that's classed as a high tackle, dangerous play, neck roll or neck grab, and that is to be penalised and to be clamped down on. <laughs>